Hi guys! So today we are going to be making this shirt right here that I'm wearing. I don't know, for some reason lately I've been really into fringes and tassels. It's kind of flapper-like and it's fun. It makes me feel very feminine and chic, of course. There's two main things about this shirt. First of all, this is actually just a regular white t-shirt that I dyed to give it this fading ombre effect. One thing that I did messed up on though is that I didn't leave the dye in for 4-6 to six hours like I'm supposed to. Only left it in for 2 hours because I was antsy. This right here, the black tassels, is just a big long strip of fabric cut into little small half inch sections like this. And um, I wouldn't recommend using like a t-shirt knit or a t-shirt cotton. This fabric actually is um, swimsuit wear. 4 way stretch but even if you pull on it really hard it doesn't roll like a t-shirt would. Start off with a cotton t-shirt. You can use other colors as well. You'll just get a different shade after you're done. Remember to pre-wash and pre-dry the shirt so any shrinking can be taken out of the way. Cut out both of the arms and the shirt following the armhole seams. Be diligent and just cut through one layer at a time. You want a clean finish. While you're at it, cut out the neckline as well. Use a ruler to draw a straight line right under the neck and cut it off. I'm going to use a powder dye. If you're interested, Tulip has great tie-dye kits as well as other dyes. Place about a tablespoon of the dye in the bottle. Fill it up a little bit more than halfway with water and shake up the mixture. Try to be safe and wear some gloves. Spray the dye onto the shirt at the very top. Make sure it is saturated with dye. Try to keep your workspace clean by wiping up any droplets of dye around the shirt with a paper towel. Do the same spraying technique on the back. With the dye that is left over, fill the bottle up again with water. Spray the second row of the shirt. Even if you saturate the shirt, the color will be lighter because it's diluted with water. Again with the dye left over, fill it up with more water. Now spray again. Here's a tip. Where there is a changing in color, try to spray it over with a lighter color a few times so it looks more like a gradient instead of rows of colors. Let the shirt sit about 4-6 to six hours. Wash in cold water by hand, and you can either let it air dry or you can throw it into the machine. For the fringe, cut out a rectangle about 17 inches wide by 36 inches long. You can do it like me and fold it in half and start cutting out half an inch strips. Take your dried shirt and pleat the neckline. It feminizes the shirt and gives it some shape. Base stitch the pleats and repeat the same on the back neckline. Take the fringe and place it right on the top of the neckline. Fold the top of the black fabric over the shirt to encase the raw edge and pin everything as you go. Now loop the fringe over and this time the shirt will be sitting on top of the fringe. 
Fold the black fabric over the pink shirt again and sew all the way around to secure everything. And that's it! Your shirt is done! Have fun and die happy!